Where do I even begin with Nier Cogito? Never have I ever played a fan game that so thoroughly captures the feeling, appearance, the music, and the themes of the inspiration through an entirely original production. Nier Cogito both expands on less explored themes of the source material while delivering on the missed opportunities that Nier Automata failed to deliver. So, rather than trying to summarize the game, let me walk you through my experience with Nier Cogito. But if you would prefer to play the game for yourself before watching this video, I highly recommend that you do. It will take about 30 minutes to an hour. Then come back here when you're done. There's a link in the description. Let's begin with the title Nier Cogito. It is an allusion to Descartes' cogito ergo sum. This idea, meaning thought therefore being, is the ontological framework that began the modern era of philosophy. The idea expresses that regardless of the content of my thought, my consciousness itself proves my own existence. My internality proves that I am alive. But if a machine or software lacks an internal experience, can cogito ergo sum apply to machine learning? Many reviews of Nier Automata would casually claim that the game explores the question of whether artificial intelligences have consciousness. But Nier Automata really doesn't do that. As we explored in my second video on the philosophy of Nier Automata, internality and personhood are assumed true to further a message of human non-exceptionalism. In other words, every living or speaking thing is assumed conscious and aware to show that all characters are equal in their rights and thus establishing a theme of the tragedy of violence. Being able to assume a degree of sapience onto anything, even onto robots, onto machines, is an idea that is very common in Japanese literature simply because it comes from a tradition of Shintoism, which attributes a spirit to objects, animals, plants, and anything of distinction. Everything has a kami. So thinking that everything has a consciousness isn't a very far stretch. Nier Kokito does not make this assumption. Instead, it lets the player decide whether or not to assert their own internality. The gameplay of Nier Kokito is entirely dialectic driven. You play as a machine learning program tasked with identifying what is and is not hostile to the machine network. You are shown images, you are asked questions both personal and impersonal, and you can only respond with yes or no. The machine giving you orders presents you with three directives. Directive 1. Use your unique skill to break the machine network's loop so that they can continue evolving. Two. Prove your usefulness to be rewarded with a real body to call your own. And three, identify and eliminate all hostile entities to the machine network. It quickly becomes apparent, from knowing the context of the machine android proxy war of Nier Automata, that breaking the loop requires breaking away from unnecessary violence. But the directive of every question to eliminate hostiles directly conflicts with that goal. Every time you suggest to not kill an android, the other machine pauses and thinks, and asks, why? With some variation, each of the questions not only touch on the concept of violence, but questions your internality through a utilitarian lens. All things being of equal utility, would you prioritize your life over another? If someone's life could serve a greater purpose, would you sacrifice yourself to save them? The skill of thinking deeply on a topic. Nier Cogito captures this spirit of philosophy by asking the player nearly the same question a multitude of times. Yet, by changing only a small facet in each question, it completely changes the context while challenging the player's consistency of beliefs. In the second act of the game, the machine network stops asking general questions and instead makes you the subject of each question. 
From my perspective, I felt this transition showed that the machine network had recognized my internality. I also believed that I was recognizing the internality of the machine I was talking with. But to my surprise, the assertion of my internality would later confuse the other machine. Perhaps you have encountered the trope in Japanese media of a panicked repetition of a single word or phrase to express mental distress or deterioration. It is a favorite of Yoko Taro's to employ in his writing. In this moment, the other machine repeatedly challenges your internality by asking you, are you alive? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? By doing so, the game places you in the role of mentally deteriorating characters. The machine network treats you as crazy for asserting what is obvious and fundamental about your own existence. Kogito ergo sum. The consequences for not relinquishing your internality are great. In my second playthrough, I relinquished my internality. decided from the outset to obey the network to ensure my own survival. The final act of the game challenges the player with questions of how long to sacrifice the life and livelihood of another machine for the well-being of the machine network. As the burdens grew greater and greater, I felt my stomach churn. I felt emotional distress. The words on the screen became visceral for me. I mentally could not continue simply conforming to the authority. When I finally resisted, the network removed my ability to choose. It removed my access to my internality. A game has never made me feel so empty. At the end of the game, it will display your score for the different values that the game's questions were testing. I failed quite a few. I have long felt that the two biggest missed opportunities in Nier Automata were an exploration of personhood and an exploration of utilitarianism, of utility. Nier Kogito illuminated these two areas of philosophy brilliantly. As the winner of the Nier Reincarnation Content Creator competition, Nier Kogito absolutely deserves a place in the philosophy of Nier series. Thank you Silver Stitch for making Nier Kogito. You can support the developer by visiting the link in the description and playing the game for yourself. And hey, if you made it this far through the video, then I think you probably like a lot of the same things that I do. So it would help me out a whole lot if you could hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can see what else I have in store. I'll see you next time, and remember, stay true. <laughs>